Hi, hope you're all having a great day. We are ready to start episode two of The Bradfords. Life with the Bradfords, Bradford Lloyd family. Same day, of course, because it's I've slowed things down. It makes it a lot easier that way to actually enjoy the game. Okay, are you, you bonded with the bees? Can you bond with them again? Or am I overdoing that? Clean the spotted cow, I guess. Uh, don't vent about your life to the cow. The cow probably won't like you too much. Actually, if you try hugging the cow right away, you're probably just going to freak the cow out. But, I mean, Daisy Moo. You're going to freak Daisy Moo out. Golden chicken help? Oh, yeah, it's because they're special chickens. Okay. I should probably... I mean, I was about to say I should hire a gardener, but I, I don't want to be lazy. The family needs to garden themselves. That's why it's okay to have so many sims in one household. Okay, so you kids maybe have had enough dancing time, don't you think? Let's, uh, let's play Don't Wake the Llama with just one other kid. Who do you want to play with? Uh, challenge this little kid with the baseball cap. Oh, please don't be mean. I hope you're just joking around. All right, go play. Oh yeah, your dad stopped playing. So maybe it's okay if you stop playing too. All right, sure. How about you? Can you jog here? Yes. And then use, and you haven't brushed your teeth yet. Oh my goodness, it's already afternoon. Get those teeth brushed, young man. <laughs> okay, and then maybe, maybe here. Ooh, you're gonna be sore after that. So then after that, you will take a muscle relaxing silk and then you're going to have to of course moisturize but we'll get to that when the time comes what does this say glad we got a chance to chat have you met the locals in Hanford and Bagley it's a really close-knit community Ooh, that's never good never good in a countryside community never good never good All right I should um you're embarrassed. Great. Off to a great start. <sighs> All right. I would like to cheat some skills of yours. You're middle age. You shouldn't be, you know, skillless, especially when you've already been through med school and everything. Come on. What's he? Okay, yeah. He didn't max anything. Out. All right. Yeah, we need. We need some, uh, you know. Bearable temperature. Put some clothes on, dude. Don't meet the neighbors when you're almost completely naked. All right. Well, I don't like just um, having them swish around and then voila, they have clothes on. How about you come upstairs, get some clothes on, and go back down. It's more realistic. And then come back and, and make this dude your friend. But, yeah, I don't know how great he is, but let's get to know him and see if he's worth being friends with. Invite him in. Maybe go upstairs, play a game of darts. Uh, don't complain about local youth. That's something for old men to do. Uh, uh, yes, enthused about your children. Oh, she doesn't seem to be in a bad mood anymore. That's great. I would never have thought people, but I think she's outgoing, but I would never have thought people would <laughs> make her happier rather than more upset. That's great, though. Get to know. This is great. This is great. Get to know your neighbors. You're having a great time. I'm so glad. This works so much faster than talking in the mirror or taking a shower or whatever. Why is this way up in the sky like that? Way up in the air. They've skied it. Okay, do you need to do anything? You've been just sitting there for hours. How about you get in your clo jogging clothes and go for a bit of a jog? I don't want you getting fat. Because it's just not part of your personality. You need to date around, play the field. 
<laughs> Keep your baby face. I don't know why you're such a baby face. You're a young adult still. And your sister is a fully grown adult. And you, uh, your other sister is a young adult, but you know, older than you. In the next episode, I'm going to play the other daughter's household. The industrial um, penthouse loft apartment. It's so fun. Okay, how do I make you go for a jog again? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's been a while. I mean, I was playing Sims nonstop for a year and a half, but then I've, I've, I haven't played in the last half a year. Just, I had to unplug for a bit. Oh my so god, he's got a hairy chest. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. Oh. Maybe I'll get him to shave that later. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see what uh, the tour of the neighborhood looks like. Oh, this is where I thought they were going to live at first. But then I was like, you know, I should really mix the two households and have them all living there it will be so much easier with the animals that way can you swim in your, your no you cannot should their child be in scouts i wonder yes i think so i'm gonna get her to join that after school i take a time um can we have that fruit cake at some point <laughs> don't have it inside my sims chest Ah, yes. Okay, so ask her if she has children because I don't even know who this lady is. Get to know her a little bit. Like, who is she? Is she like a nefarious sim or is she friendly? Friend or foe? She seems friendly. I mean, I don't see anything behind that friendly expression. You don't have any children, huh? Who are you? Are you the one of those ones who's sleeping around in this community, which, I mean, it is a small town. <laughs> yes, thank her for coming, but, you know. Oh, what's wrong? What did you say to her? You've offended your neighbor already? Don't be the rude ones in the community, please. Please, please, please. I know she has children, so I'm not going to bother with that. Get to know. Oh, who won? Who won your little llama game? <sighs> okay, how about you come upstairs and you play Don't Wake the Llama with two other kids. Three, actually. So, she's perfectionist. You know that about her. You have good compatibility with one of them, but we don't know about her. I'm just probably mediocre. You no, know, standard. Cool hen. Golden Pulse Powers. They'll use his powers to help you out. If they see anything that can be improved in quality, they'll try to use that power to improve the quality of the item. Huh? Nice. Does that mean just like gardening produce or anything? So then you don't have to actually be fully handy yourself. Intriguing. Um, can we upgrade this? Why? What? Okay, livestock upgrade items. Can be acquired by offering help. Oh, fine. <sighs> Too much work. What the hell is this about? Oh, uh, incoherent. Yelling or whatever. Cat cuddles are so cute. Nice. What the hell? Why? Why? Are... Oh, that's so good. Why are they not being. Insect farm. Empty. Did I, do, did I accidentally kill them already? Uh, you can't get up there. Okay. It's fine. Nurture. Bond with the bees again. I don't even care if you get stung a million times. What's this? Oh. I guess you might have some milk in your... Why do you have skis? Okay. Oh, your wife. Um... So you both did some milking, and what, there's milk everywhere, you don't get any in your inventory? That's awesome. Let's have you- oh, you can actually watch movies on that little TV. There's like, much bigger TVs that you're not allowed to- I'm not allowed to have my Sims watch movies on. Seems like you could watch 
movies on almost all TVs at first, but then after a while, like after an update or something, no longer was that the case. Hmm. Maybe you might also want to get a head start on your um, homework. And with this amazing mod, we can target what you learn. So let's say fitness. Also, after school activity, please. Uh, how do I join after school activity? Because I forget. There we go. Or maybe I should wait until he's actually there and then walk up to one of the recruiters. But now. No, no, no. Let's just do it now. And... Same with you. What? <sighs> How do I join an after school activity for you? Okay, whatever. That's fine. I don't care. I'll figure it out later. I don't know. I can't change the outside the case for the phones because they all have iPhones. Golden iPhones. I guess you can't really play darts either with that table being there. Ugh, I did not think this through. Oh well. Now where is, where is, uh, oh no. Where is you? You're here feeling upset. Ugh. What are we going to do about food? There's got to be someone here that can cook. Here, you can come and cook. Because you're a good cook. I've already changed your skills so that you're not a total noob at life. Okay, cook. Tear up. Veggie dog. Yorkshire pudding. Eight. Let's go. Although, you could also have some barbecue. How about Yorkshire pudding and some salad? Because maybe we'll invite some of the neighbors over to share. Dicky. Cook. I do not remember them having this blue background. That must be a new upgrade. Update to the, uh, the whole game. I'm looking for some salad. Or maybe dessert. But then some people can't just stay and have only dessert. But maybe he'll make, you know, salad to go along with it. And also dessert. Watermelon salad. I don't think so. Nur, nur, nur. French fries? What were those French fries? Churros. Mm. No. Where's some salad? Or is it that like you have to have lettuce in your in your fridge for that? I don't see any salad except the stupid, boring one that anybody can make basically from the get-go. But okay. Here and then also some dessert cook let's make a pie um that would be very fancy dessert that comes from the cow build uh designs i have not gotten my sims to make cupcakes in the um oven yet okay he's a doctor maybe on a regular day he doesn't want to just make his uh family something really unhealthy for dessert so do we have the sugar-free carob cake I mean, ugh, there's too many to choose from. I don't know. Or maybe he should just be wild and pick something that's really no good for you or something. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's the sugar-free carob cake? He probably needs a certain uh, skill level and wellness for that. I'm remembering that now. Okay, blueberry pie. 45 bucks because you don't have blueberry in your whatever yet but you will eventually so there's that and maybe maybe cooking will make him feel confident but yeah i made some good food here i know get to know lincoln <gasps> you know he's your son how do you need to get to know him yeah we've got this fruit cake hmm uh i'm just going to leave it around i'm not going to have anybody spoil their dinner by having them eat right now Oh, look. It's the 
daughter. How about you come introduce? Oh yeah, you're you're not a teenager. Never mind. Here, take a panic poop. Listen to alternative music. Do you have earbuds? Probably not. No. That's fine. Okay. Can you? Do I have Sam to dating on here? Probably. Hmm, I don't see it. Oh, you can sit in on a skill class? I thought you couldn't because of the weekend. Okay, well, what do you need to update? Charisma and logic. Okay, how about we go for charisma this time? You only need skill two for that, so. Perfect. You should invite him to cook with you. Make dinner for everyone else. Invite to join cooking. We're not sh to think the men can't cook together and make the meals when, yeah, food for us. How nice! Yes, exactly, exactly. It's nice. Um. All right, so maybe we'll just stop and you just introduce yourself to one of your classmates, schoolmates, anyway. Invite Rashida to apply scent. Invite her in. Get to know her a little. Be friendly. Oh good, it, it did bring him into a good mood. That's amazing. Uh, so like when I'm actively trying to change the mood, it's a little hard, but when I just have them live their life, do things that make them happy, it works amazingly. Charisma. Great. So what are you up to? Did I tell you to do this? Or are you just being good on your- Oh my god, these chickens look old-fashioned. So should I. No, no, no. No, no, no! Do not taunt them about chicken wings! That's not even funny. I'm not into dark humor. Especially not where, you know, animals are concerned. I just love them too much. What's this? Uh, you know what? It looks cute there, but I could use something for a little bit of a helpful start. What's this? It says, oh, the this chicken is such a sweet one. Bon has built so much trust with them that he didn't even get pecked at when showing some love. How sweet. What are you eating? Oh, nothing, and you're just saying that because of weird, random commentary from something I, something I put on here. No, no. Let's not make you a total stereotypical jock and boast about whatever. Yeah, give her props for whatever, whatever you're talking about. She said something. Something cool about herself. Or you're just being friendly and you're like, yeah, props for that. Sure, show off your muscles because you've been working on for so long. It's like, oh, look at all this work, all this progress I've made in just the last few hours. And... Ask about taste and music. Uh, this one, huh? <laughs> Nah. You're not scared. You're not scared of no vampires. <laughs> ah, so rude. Oh, where did I see that <laughs> tell urban legend? Do that to get her back for that little, little prank. <laughs> Interests? Oh, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's under... Uh, funny? Story? Tell funny story, I guess. It's a little weird to be pushing each other around like that when you just met. Yeah, and I guess she agrees. You're not challenging anybody. She's not there. Okay, dance with your friends. And then it's just probably time soon for you all to go home. You're not supposed to be eating. All on your own before supper. You're spoiling your dinner. And. Oh, I love it when the cats go on top of the fridges. Like in real life. Yorkshire pudding. Yes, yes. Perfect. Now make dessert. Come on. 
Where are you? Oh yeah, you're sitting in a skill class. Good, good. You're getting to know your schoolmate. You're dancing with your friends. Where are you? Oh, you're dancing too. How nice. Here, try to make a fire. Although it's too hot for fire. Never mind. Well, we. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you'll end up with her then. Although I thought she had a boyfriend. You should ask about that. Still, I mean, we could get her to, you know, get over the boyfriend and maybe think about you as more than a friend. Maybe just a little, like, friendly flirt. And then, how is it that you can't ask her if she's single or not? <laughs> Getting her back for the buzzer situation earlier. And it worked. Hmm. Story. You don't just overdo it with the flirtation. Collect eggs. I don't know if we need to scatter feed nearby some more. I mean, do they not have some? No, they don't. Are they hungry? Maybe nurture some more. I don't know. But, like, you don't have to just stay out here and nurture over and over and over. Either. Oh, yes. I better put the eggs away before they go bad or something. I don't know if that's possible. I mean, it is in real life. Should be here. As well. Oh, it's a cute little kitty. Does the kitty need anything? Kind of. Alright, here is your little thingy. I hope you can use it. Litter box. Though, in real life, I affectionately call it a poop box. Okay. You should not just be dancing. It's boring. I do want you to get a promotion, but I cheated to get you here. Alright, so just perform surgery. Oh. So. Um. We should call everybody to dinner. Yes. Okay, call to me, all. Everybody. And you. Call to me, all. So, and the boy. What's so nice to have like a community uh, center? Well, like a house that's kind of a community hangout and everybody's all going to be eating together. It's such an easy thing to bond over. Okay. I kind of have like an old lady spirit, old lady energy. So sometimes I talk like an old lady, I think. And I love using expressions like an old lady. But I sometimes get them a little bit wrong, like Hannah from PLL. Okay. So you've got some bad don't wake the llama um, buffers, but you don't have anything good from that. That sucks. But you're just going to have to practice when your friends go home. All right. You've got lots of room, lots of room. Come one, come all. Hey, you have to eat too, kid. And then I'm going to send everybody home. Uh, and you, uh, should I just bring you back from that circus? Oof, how long is that going to last? Two whole days because, of course, you're, what are you? You're high maintenance, yeah. But uh, I hope you enjoyed episode two, having everybody get to know, having the, um, the Bradfords get to know some people from around the neighborhood and, you know, develop their skills on the farm a little bit more. And... I guess that's basically all we did, episode two. Time really flies when you're playing Sims. All right, so see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Oh, oh.